Hi guys, bear with me with my tripod here. I'm here to showcase Midnight Madness Tarot. And this is straight from the Philippines. And I'll just show you really quickly the inside, which is beautiful. It's made by Iso or Iso Winters. And she says, May this deck help you find your home truth. And that's her very cute little drawing here. This is from Philippines, so I think it's $65 US plus you have to ship it. So this is my first deck from Philippines. It is a little bit pricey shipping here, but um, I didn't mind. So this is this very like manga anime style. Um, this is the side, which is beautiful. Look at this. I'm gonna try to. the back. You can pause this at any time. And now let's get started. These are the major arcana. As you can see, there is some nudity here, but it's just gorgeous. I'm going to flip through them quickly. Uh, we got the mage, the lovers, you've got soulmate, which is so sweet. This is a minimal style. This is the winter edition. As you can see, it has gold um, sparkly foil, which is very beautiful. The winter edition, I think, is sold out, but there's still the international editions. So I'm just going to show you here. So strength is um, substitute for fortitude, and it's a very minimalized version here. These cards are just beautiful, male and female here. Like, look at this. Dollars of Rabbitimer as Astral for Star, Luna for Moon, Soul for Sun, and Universe for the World. And then I went by Suits, so let's start with Swords here. And let's see. So, this is the cardstock. It's beautiful matte finish, as you can see. It's really good for filming. It's just the beautiful body forms and um, minimal colors, but I love the foliage and flowers that she put there. Queen of Swords, I think she's a Queen of Swords, an air sign is what I'm getting here. So it's beautiful, even the nudity because it's anime, it's really gorgeous. Just gonna go through this quickly. Looks like reminds me of a samurai pose, but naked. <laughs> Ouch, that looks quite painful. On to the next suits, we have the wands energy. And I put the um, the court cards first so you could see what the page, the page I like is a woman. We have the knight of wands, queen and king of wands. And then I'll just flip through the cards once more so that you can enjoy the artwork. She looks so happy. This reminds me of Dragon Ball Z for some reason. On the cloud, <laughs> he looks not so happy. Nice butt. Like, really good <laughs> form for the uh, suits there. On to the coins. And also, I did draw... I made an art as well after, which I will show you. It's, um, I usually do this. I'm a bit of a nerd, so what I do is I in, I do deck interviews and I even use some of the stickers that's in um, Rina Regina's shop to decorate like my um, grimoire for my witchy stuff. So I'll show that in a sec. On to the coins. So here's what the page looks like. It I like that it has like it looks like a reminiscent of like if a Filipino was an Asian, you know. I mean Filipino is an Asian. <laughs> Filipino is Asian. Filipino is an anime. So it's very beautiful. So like I like the long hair and like the anime like the male characters too. It's just like the beauty in the form is just so wonderful here. And it has a lot of creamy yellows, like a like 
a really light pale yellow with navy blues, grays, blacks, and dark blues. And isn't that beautiful? I think it's beautiful. Okay. Next, the last is my favorite suit, which is cups. I always see, my, whenever other people pull cards for me, I always get represented as the queen of cups, which is accurate. Um, baso ng tubig, which means cup of water. It looks so happy having it. So, I'm always usually the queen of cups, and this is accurate for me almost. Lots of readings show me as that. So I usually look at that and the star card when deciding as well for what to choose. And I just like that this is created by a Filipino, Filipina in the Philippines. And not just created, like she drew all of these. And um, I just think it's just, it's lovely, really. Especially if you're an anime fan or you like this type of art. It's really, um, it's really nice to look at. And the minimalism, so you do have to know a bit of your tarot for this. I am, I just bought the card deck and it just comes like this because uh, I don't need a guidebook. And uh, you know, I'll try to put all her Instagram and our links below. And this is that, and this is how it shuffles. So this is, I will rifle shuffle it now. This is what it looks like as a spread. So what I do uh, is usually I do deck interviews, but I let's just do a three card spread with no question at all. This is what they look like. Okay. So past, present, future it could be question, um, ish, uh, what you should know, and most like all the outcome, something like that the theme if you want to do theme it's like it just looks so beautiful together and minimal um and so that's like my first deck ever in philippines so whether you are in philippines or not um i just want to show you the art it's so pretty and i also want to show you guys something uh she also has tarot little stickers at the four one shop or ash i think there's one I'll provide the links below. I think one of her friends has an online shop. I used the stickers, okay? So I put it in this pouch and I, I used some scissors and I cut it up and I made it into extra divination stuff. So I will show you guys the stickers. So I cut it up like this and I'm gonna pull it for like divination. So this one dropped. We have and the Ten of Cups here and the Nine of Cups which is contentment, happiness, wish fulfillment so yeah you know I'm gonna use this as extra for you know divination stuff when some of my readings I might do soon and I use some of the stickers to decorate the cover of my grimoire as you can see here and I also made before I go I, uh, I am a nerd, yes, and in my tarot study journal, um, I actually created a page for the Midnight Madness Tarot when I'm going to do a deck interview uh, with certain questions. So, sorry if I botched up, I tried to copy a little bit some of her artwork. This is from like the astral card, the star card. So, I think that... You know, if you have um, creators from your country, it's nice to support them if you have the luxury of extra f income uh, or money. Um, right now, I have to sell some of my decks to be budget friendly right now because of priorities, but um, I'm not disappointed at all in the purchase. So I hope you like that, guys. That was the Midnight Madness Tarot by, is it Easel or Isol Winters? Please correct me. Links down below. And I think it's a beautiful deck. Okay, bye guys.